Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get AWX up and running on Fedora Core 38 with Docker for API development. I'm starting up a virtual machine here and I have it mounting the Fedora Workstation version 38 live CD. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually install Fedora onto this virtual machine. The reason I'm doing this is because the live CD doesn't have enough storage space on disk for us to build the Docker image properly. And this will actually, this install will actually use the entire disk of which I've allocated about 40 gigs for. You probably won't need 40 gigs. I just like to add a little bit extra just in case. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video while this does the install. All right, we'll just reboot the server now that the installation is completed. And we'll finish uh, the Fedora Core setup. I'm just going to use a dummy password here since this is just a test machine. And once Fedora finishes loading, I'm going to go ahead and start a terminal. And this is where we're going to do most of our work. The first thing I'm going to do is git clone the code repository. So I'm going to type git clone https github.com ansible awx.git. Now, if you have already set up an SSH key and worked with that through GitHub and you want to clone via the SSH URL, that's fine as well, too. This will take a minute to pull down all the code. When it's done, this created an AWX directory for us. So I'm going to CD into the AWX directory. And the command that we need to run AWX is called make docker compose. And we're going to get an error right here because we've just set up this machine and we don't have all the components that we need. And this is what we're going to work through in this video. So the first error we get is that make was not found. So I'm going to go ahead and install make. I'm going to type sudo dnf install dash y make. And then I have to give it my password. And this will go ahead and download and install the make package. All right, now that make is installed, let's go ahead and try to run our command again and see what happens next. Make docker compose. So as part of the make file running, it's gonna use something called setup tools, which wasn't installed. So it's gonna to try to auto install it in the background. 
and then it's going to run an Ansible playbook command, but we don't have Ansible installed. So we need to install Ansible. So again, I'm going to type sudo dnf install y Ansible. And this will get us the Ansible playbook command. All right, now let's try our make command again. Make docker compose. So this time we have Ansible playbook, so it's going to run the playbook for us. And the playbook aired out because it's missing the docker command, which we can see in this message right here. Docker command not found. So we need to install docker which has a whole series of commands to do. And the easiest way we're gonna do that is by Googling how to install Docker and get the instructions. So I'm gonna launch Firefox. And then in Firefox, I'm going to search for Fedora Core 38 Docker install. And it looks like the Docker page is right on the top. So I'm going to click on to that. Here's the Docker page and they have a series of commands and I encourage you to read through all of this so that you understand what it's doing. But I'm gonna go ahead and start following them. The first step is to remove any old Docker packages you might have on your system. and it found one on our system called Container SE Linux. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. There's a couple different ways you can install Docker. I'm going to follow the install using the RPM repository instructions. I'm going to run these two commands. This is going to download the Docker repository information and make it available through my DNF system in Fedora. The next command is to actually install the Docker packages using DNF. We're gonna do this, pull in the Docker certificate. Next, we're gonna start Docker with the systemctl start Docker command. Uh, we're not gonna run the hello world example yet because of this green tip right here. We are going to try to run Docker without using root. This is how we're gonna run AWX as a local user instead of the root user. So we're gonna click on this Linux post install option here. Again, read through the page, understand all the warnings and what you're doing. And you know, this is for development only. So we're gonna start by adding the Docker group, which should already be added. This is just in case, perfect. And then we're going to add our user to the Docker group. And then this command is going to reload our groups. So if I do an ID here now, you'll see in my groups, I'm not listed as being in the Docker group but after I run this command, I will be in the Docker group. So there it is. Uh, the other way to do this is to log out and log back in, uh, start a new shell, switch to the user again, but we're just gonna do this in this shell for now. Okay, so now we should be able to actually run Docker. So we're gonna run the hello world example. There it is, it pulled the image and it gave you a little message saying that things seem to be working correctly, which is what we wanted. 
And then finally, we're going to enable Docker and Containerd services to start at boot time. So we're going to copy this section here and paste that in. And I'm not going to worry about the last logging section for now. It's not something we need to do in this exercise. So now that Docker is installed, let's run our make command again. Make Docker compose. We see our playbook running again. We get past the Docker pieces. Oh, but we have another error. Docker compose, no such file or directory. Docker compose is another package that we have to install. So I'm going to do sudo dnf install dash y docker compose. And now that that's installed, we should be able to actually run our command successfully. Make docker compose. This is the playbook running, and then at the end of the playbook run, we'll see Docker Compose start. There it's Docker Compose, and it's starting by pulling down all of the images that it needs to run AWX. This will take another minute, so I'll speed this up in the video. And now it's actually starting the containers. All the containers prefixed with tools AWX1, those are for the actual AWX server. We can see here where it's applying the migrations. This is actually building the database in the back, creating all the tables and the columns and all of the relations. This is an initial setup thing. Again, this process takes a while, so I'll speed it up in the video. We can see it's done and successfully applied all of the migrations, and we can see it gave out the admin password. I'm going to go ahead and copy that as we'll need it to log into the server for the first time. It'll just be a couple more seconds until the server starts up. All right, the server should now be up, so let's see if we can log in. The default port that it's on is HTTPS colon slash slash localhost 8043. We use a self-signed certificate, so you're going to see this uh, security risk the first time you go to the page. You can just accept the risk. And here it is. This message is indicating that we haven't built the UI yet, but the API is also up. So if we go to API v2, here's the API. So let's go ahead and build the UI. In order to do that, I'm going to open up a new terminal. And I'm going to do a docker ps to see my running containers. But again, I need to add my docker group to my user. So I'm going to just go ahead and change to myself. So I now have the Docker group. So now let's look at Docker PS again. Uh, it's a little jumbled because the terminal is only so wide, but there's basically three containers running. This one, the tools AWX one container. This one is the Postgres container, the database. And this one is the Redis container. And we want to run a command in the tools AWX one container. So I'm going to type Docker exec dash it tools awx1 bash and this will give me a prompt which is running inside of the awx container and then here to make the ui i'm going to type make ui devil this will use npm to compile build and optimize the ui for usage this process can be very memory and cpu intensive 
When I tried to do this on a VM with 4 gig, the container would run out of memory and die. This particular container, just for speed, I have, I think, two virtual CPUs and 16 gigs of RAM. I think you could probably get away with 6 to 8 gigs of RAM and still be able to run this, but just a warning. Well, this is running. There's also an HTTP port exposed. And that port is 8013. So if you wanted to use HTTP traffic instead of HTTPS, you can use port 8013. I'm going to switch back to the HTTPS port, though. And again, that was port 8043. This process is going to take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up in the video again. Okay, now that that's completed, we should be able to go see our UI. There it is, and we can log in as the admin user with the password that we got from the output from the container. And at this point, you should be all set to work on and develop AWX on the API. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and follow, and let us know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks.